Hi guys, welcome back to the train layout. Today I have an exciting review for you all. It's going to be of the Walters Mainline, HO Scale, Amtrak Horizon Coach, and Cafe Car. Now let's get into it. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I like to run Amtrak and you know I had to get these cars. Now, a backstory how I got these cars So basically about two to three months before they were to be released, and these actually got released early. They were supposed to be, or said to be released in April. It's the end of February right now. So when I was pre-ordering them through Train World, I thought they were out of the Phase 5 paint scheme, the ones you see right now, so I ordered the Phase 4 paint scheme. I got them, I went back on their website, and they had them in stock, and I was like, I just been had. Well, no, not really. Train World has always been good to me, so I looked on my little train stuff, and I actually bought these from there. And I paid about $20 difference than if I did it with Train World. And I know what you're probably thinking, why didn't I exchange them at Train World? Well, one, I am semi-terrified of driving, even though I'm 30 minutes away, theoretically. And I'm a introvert. But I'm glad I done it this way, because I ended up selling the Phase 4 ones on eBay, so it's well worth it. Now enough babbling. Let's get to the unboxing and review. Here is a view of the side of the box where it gives a full description of this car and its capabilities. Best of all, this product, like the Amfleet 2 cars, are licensed, officially licensed, by Amtrak. So, if I never mentioned it on this channel before, I model the Midwest, specifically the little town, well it's not a little town anymore, it's a medium to large sized city of Quincy, Illinois. And in Illinois in general, spreading out to Missouri and Michigan, and up to Wisconsin. These cars are very common to see on the corridor routes. As of now, they're in the process of getting replaced by the Siemens Venture equipment, and I've seen videos of them both inside and out. They look amazing. They almost look like the Amtrak Phase 3 scheme. Of course it's going to get something to use to, but I said the same thing about the SC44 Chargers. A lot of people thought they were ugly looking engines. But after a couple years servicing the corridor routes, we're getting used to the design. The word is passing the torch on. The Horizons will eventually pass the torch to the Venture coaches, while well, they already have, the P42s will pass the torch to the SC44 Chargers and ALC42 locomotives. So that just shows you how America is changing in terms of its railroad. The first car I'll be unboxing is the Cafe slash Business Class car. And I actually took it out of the box already because I wanted to see if this car had a specific detail that Bachman didn't have and Rapido did have and they do and I'll get to that when we take a look at it closely. So you unbox it. What's you what what you get is the actual car and a huge decal sheet. So, I'm about to have five more decal sheets. Like, I have enough decals to last me a couple years. So yeah, there's the decal sheet. And the car comes in this protected tray. And it's wrapped in... 
that uh, thin plastic sheet to keep the paint from getting scratched. Let's take her out. I'll give you guys a better view in a second. All right, let's get this tray out of the way. There she is, the cafe slash business class lounge. So, like the Amfleet 2 coach, I'm going to review it in a similar fashion. So I'll make the B end of the car the left side where it says cafe, and I'll make the right side of the car the A side of the car. All right, let's take a closer look. Looking at the B end of this car, or the left side as I have it, we will work our way from the bottom and work our way up. So we have the Walters metal coupler, we have the diaphragm, which was completely absent on the earlier release of these cars. We have the passenger boarding stairs, and I like how they're exposed, that's very prototypical, because most of the trains I've seen running in the Midwest most likely the stairs were exposed. Then we have the ledge or trap door, which is present. We obviously have a door here. We have simulated marker lights, which I will sharpie up in red, because why not? We have exquisite rivet detail. And we have the Amtrak Phase 5 paint scheme, looking very sharp. No breaks in the paint, I'll give you a better look in a second. And we have fantastic truck detail. So taking a better look at the left side of this car, as I say again, we have fantastic truck detail here, the passenger boarding stairs, the trapdoor ledge, and the door obviously. We have the legible lettering that you can read that says welcome, cafe, and the wheelchair logo letting you know this car is wheelchair accessible. And we have underbody detail down here. The striping paint job on this car is very clean, there's no breaks in the paint, no fuzziness. So, that's awesome. So looking at the A end of this car, or the right side, we have different lettering. So we have the well-known Amtrak Travel Mark logo, which is printed very cleanly, no breaks in the paint. We have the legible lettering that says welcome, this says business class, and this is the wheelchair accessible logo. And as you can already tell, there is an interior in these cars, which was completely absent from the earlier release that I was talking about earlier. And the one special thing I wanted to point out, especially with the cafe car, behind this break in windows, where it's just a wall, there is actually a cafe counter where people would walk up to and purchase their drinks, snacks, or whatever. I can't really show you properly, because I would have to, to take apart the car, which I really don't want to do, but if you look through the vestibules with the light, you'll be able to see it. And speaking of vestibules, let me attempt to show you. Yeah, so here's a view of one of the vestibules. I can't really get a like clear view through it. Now, it may look like that window has a big smudge on it, but 
it doesn't actually, that's just how the camera's picking it up. If you look through this car with a light, like a, like a scope, you'll be able to see the cafe counter, the seating, and then so on. What this car doesn't really have is MU hoses, but come on, you don't need that, right? And then these cars roll fairly well. Of course, not as great as the Rapido cars, but come on, this is all you need. Like, I'm a modeler who doesn't care about specific details. As long as the car does the job, I'm happy. So taking a further look at these cars, when you couple them up, the diaphragms are far away from each other, which is something that would normally bother me, but there is a way to get these cars to couple closer together. In the box behind the tray, or on the back of the tray I should say, there should be coupler boxes that should allow you to couple these cars up closely together. So that's what I'm going to do. Here is what a coach car looks like. These cars are absolutely amazing. Very stunning. And what's great is they have a cost-effective price, like for model train stuff, I paid $31 a piece for these cars, and I think that's a good price for these cars. It's literally about one-third of the price of a certain manufacturer. I won't name names. So definitely recommend these cars buy them up while they're still available because they won't be for long if we take a look on top of the car there's nothing really to see really except the continuous rib like texture on the roof looking at the bottom of this car there is still detail. There may not be a lot of it, but you don't really see the bottom of this car in real life or as a model. I'm going in to tell you, I'm glad they put minimal detail on the bottom of this car because again, you don't see it. But I know a certain manufacturer who put literally everything under here, but we're not going to see it. Like, no one's going to walk up to an Amtrak coach car and look under it and admire the detail and then get themselves run over. No. So this is all you need. The only real thing that is not correct about this car, and it's a very small nitpick, and one I don't mind at all, the horizons don't have completely square windows with curved ends. If you look at another manufacturer's design and the real thing, it's more of a like oval, which is more centered. But is that going to bother me or you? No. And and how far the cars are apart from each other when coupled. I'm going to fix that right now. Already I have changed the coupler boxes. These cars couple up closer now. So now I'm happy. Let's see these cars in action.
overall, these cars are amazing and I 100% recommend them to anyone modeling Amtrak, especially the Midwest Corridor routes. Buy these cars up while you still can. They are on a myriad of websites where you can purchase them for fair prices. And yeah, that's going to be it for the review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.